Hey guys, it's Fire Elemental here. Today we're going to be showing off LOL Ultron at rank 3. So a little bit to know about him. His uh, PI is actually pretty good. Um, not with this mastery setup. This one makes him look pretty bad. Well, not pretty bad, but semi-bad. So as you can see, he's right between Magneto and Silver Warrior. Uh, would go between LOL Ultron and Captain Marvel here. So that should give you a little bit of a ballpark estimate on his PI. I used 40 stones on Magique afterwards, which was really great. Because her PI rose 600, I think, without even changing up my masteries. So that was worth it. So let's go over LOL Ultron. Um, evade every 7 seconds. Let's see. Blocking 25% chance for armor up. Functions, all it, Function Fury, it's funny, it's like making it like, it, they're making it like a database, like Function Radiation, Function Armor, etc. Function Stun, um, let's see, 319.5 attack increases, 6 seconds every 5 attacks. Alright, so... But I feel like you should be able to stack Furies with LOL Ultron. When I was using him earlier, he wasn't, but... So if you do know, let me know in the comments down below. So, Ayla, I, lots of members in the Baker's Arena chat, um, and just pretty much all my chats in general, I basically tried to start a giant discussion on whether or not you should rank for LOL Ultron. And a lot of people said no, while a lot of people said yes. At, in the end, it still came up a, like 50-50. So what I'm thinking is, I will end up, uh, ah, there's the evade. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'll wait till uh, after the ice crystal openings, and then I'll awaken and uh, rank up, because I mean, after all right now, we don't, uh, see that's, that's, yeah, I'll get into that in a few seconds right now. We don't have the tier 4 class, the alphas, or pretty much anything right now. Well, we do have the alphas, but... Alright, so, as you guys just saw a second ago, he evaded that long swipe like I... I don't think I actually mentioned that yet, but, see, that, that, that annoys the heck out of me. Because, like, how do you recover from that? See, you just have to block and grit your teeth, really. Yeah, it's too vague. So at least you can now predict it now that you know it's on a timer, pretty much. So, yeah. Ah, I don't like this evade. See, this is what makes me wonder if I should rank for him. Because I really don't like that evade. Because it will come on the heavy attack, so technically it can come whenever, like on a special in a few seconds like that. But at the same time, there's also no guarantee, because, like, there's the evade there. Oh, I guess not quite yet. So, watch. Don't evade, don't evade, there's the evade, done. I'm trying to figure out how to how we can recover from the specials he has. Not from the specials. Don't, you, stop using your stupid blaster. Fine, you know what? I'll just keep evading, and then I'll figure out how to recover from that. See, what I'm thinking is, right, the time should be up, so... Ah, that didn't work. I'm trying. I'm still trying to figure it out, guys. I really don't like that evade. I don't know if I'll rank for him, honestly. I hate him with that evade on. If you could like switch it off, like Nightcrawlers or something, then maybe yeah. But mm, it's not looking too good for LOL Ultron, honestly. Half of me thinks I'll just rank for him just for the prestige, and to have another rank four in my arsenal. I'm thinking that when, since I can pretty much count, if I learn to just count my seconds, like I do with my attacks nowadays, I'm thinking that maybe I can just kind of like build a strategy around uh, with the evade so I can time it, so I'll just know what combo to block since I can't parry. I know, I've talked to several MMX IV members, they said it's all about intercepting, just got to do it 
And if you don't, well, you have to take blocking damage. That's really just the price you pay. They said that you can also work on evading the second daily attacks and onwards. So like for instance, like that, you have to evade with it. Basically, you just have to know that it's coming and then evade on top of that. Like for instance, let's see if we can pull it off. I think it should be enough time, right? Hello, where's that evade? There we go. Well, I was hoping he'd do a combo or something, but... Uh, there's the evade, yeah. Alright, so, as you can see, it's just pretty much the same as regular Ultron. Not as good, though. Ooh, wow, did you see that, bud? Yeah. I got a triple evade. How? How? Well, whatever. Some... Just again. Ah, really. Uh, no thank you. I can evade Ultron second now. It's really awesome. Yeah, very easy. No, shut up! Hey, I'm just saying. He's super skilled at the game, so anything he says it's easy might not always be easy. So just say, shut it. <laughs> Alright, we're saying evading. Oh, sure five poisons! Special. Six poisons! <clears throat> Come on, no, I wanted to use the special. Oh. I wanted to see how much damage that first special would have done with six poisons on him. Alright, I just realized this video is getting kind of long. I'm just going to get hit by a few bullets. Oh. You were saying? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, just kill us. There we go. Alright, cool. So, that's it for this, uh, LO this uh, ult LOL Ultron review. I want you guys to let me know down in the comments if you think I should rank for him. Of course, I'd use the Tech Awakening gem on him and not the generic. Generic would go for Iceman if we get him, but... Yeah, if. Cross fingers, yeah. But, pretty much, let me just... Let me know in the comments down below what you think, if we should do. And if anyone else in your ally uses him... Yeah, two stars, go figure. Alright, that's it for this video. This is Fire Elemental. And Air Elemental. And we'll catch you... On, on the, the flip, flip side. side.